and we encourage the consumer to take fruits and vegetables in different forms, and fresh form, and the processed, frozen, and the cooked, and 100% juice. 100% juice should be considered as a servings of fruits and vegetables. The fruit, and also in cases where we have 100% fruit juice, that there are advantages where these are included as part of healthy dietary patterns like low glycemic index, index dietary patterns and others in terms of being able to um, have important metabolic uh, advantages. So I think the, the evidence is like where we, it stands at the moment in terms of the state of the evidence uh, it definitely shows uh, a benefit of 100% fruit juice. What there is is a good diet. I, it, it's important is the balance between um, the different range of foods. As part of a well-balanced diet, undoubtedly um, fruit juice has many um, attributes that are to be recommended. There's only one uh, advice, one recommendation that people should follow to have good nutrition, which is to eat every type of food, a little bit of everything, in moderation. So if people do that nowadays, they will be healthy, and I think there is no better advice that has been provided to, uh, to consumers. And we learn it in our early days. It's part of our social imprint um, that um, consumption of juice is healthy and if you distract people from uh, consumption of fruit juice for instance by banning fruit juices from kindergarten and uh, schools this is really counterproductive because uh, you kill this social imprint and uh, you uh, in this way you inhibit fruit juice consumption and healthy lifestyle. <laughs>